heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. Gosh, the vibe to this game is so good. Like, just like the the ambiance and the music and the direction. Like, it doesn't matter how many times. Guess that's that then. What? They kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. Sorry, I tried. <sighs> we talked it over, but in the end, we didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? <laughs> Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. Uh, I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. <laughs> As if that isn't the line of the year for Jesse. Hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. This is a good one. Yeah, we're living kids it. Ain't no room for air come tomorrow. More reason to live it up now. Yep. Best way to clear your head so you can focus when it I want to I want to eat with it's everybody else too. Long I'm going to eat too. Days. Not since we went on that all night bender after HQ gave us the boot. They did not give us the boot. It was an amicable separation. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. <sighs> Can't believe it's already been a year. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going above and beyond. Thank you. No need for that, boss. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yeah, but when shit hits the fan, it's good to know you in my corner. End of the day, you're all I got. <laughs> Happy to look out for you, like I know you'll look out for me. So long as someone looks out for my stomach. Tifa's got you covered there. As a friend, or as a cook. As if you really gotta ask. <laughs> hey, little guy. You need anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that tickled! I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> you know, it'd be really cool if we could do this again tomorrow night. Oh, we will. Avalanche! Avalanche! <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. It's on for Why sure. Why not every night? <laughs> we'll talk. So, where'd we leave off? Look at the chip bags get pretty dicey. with the different stamps on them. Bet you could use a bite to eat too, huh? That's alright, I'm out. I've chatted with that Barrett guy a few times. He looks like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. He shows up. What's up with them? With a gun for an arm? Word is he lives in this town. Just shut up and wait. We'll find him soon enough. Man! Seems like he Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? 
pretty set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch, do you? Five hundred. <laughs> Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. I love how they did the walks. The, they got the walk down, you know? Hey, Look at that. To say? You looking at me? That's so funny. Could you imagine somebody mo capping that walk? They probably did it manually, right? They probably did. They probably animated it by themselves. Word of advice, Blondie. Don't piss off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it. You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> I got to pull out that little knife, and he's got a, a big old sword. Like I give a shit. Gotta get my own. You asshole! Big man with a big gun for an arm, right? Uh, hey, hey. Why do you want it? What if you're proud of all the orders, you know? Nobody told me this. Let me walk away. Please! This won't take long. They weren't Shinra, then not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. Not bad, Merc. We owe you. There might be more on the way, though. People are counting on us. Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. Hmm. I've seen them around. Oh uh, no, it's an average level, so it's going to be an average level from this previous version. Um, it's not going to be level 1, but it's like level like 20 or something, or 10. What is the, what is the current cap? 30, I think? Oh, it's 50, so I think it's like 30 or something. So like if you maxed it, they're only going to gonna give you the starter entry level. Um, if you didn't max it, you're going to be at whatever level you were, but most people have already gotten level 50. So You know what I mean? Like So it depends on where you are. If you hit the max level here, you'll hit the max level at the start, which is... 30, I think, is the average. But it's not going to be level 1. But it's also not going to be, like, level 50. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Took your sweet time. <laughs> Still funny. Psych. <sighs> Are you going to let me in so we can talk in private? Dangerous, Cloud. <sighs> Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? <sighs> A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but if I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, 
I can count on you, can't I? Gosh, the music's so fantastic. I mean, it's always been, but but it's been like three years since this game came out, right? Didn't it come out 2020? So that was the last time I played it was at launch. And then we did the integrate with oh, Yuffie we'll when that came out. You were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. <laughs> it's just another job. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. <clears throat> Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. <laughs> right? Talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. <sighs> Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! Take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Ah, crank that frog. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, that was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. Yeah, I get chills. It's I so good every time. The blasting agent and the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shimra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. ID scan! Ready? So far, so good. It's like not even
<laughs> like Bix and Wedge are like not scooting over. Like I'll be damned if I move over on the road. True road rage. Just ram into them. Why you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. <laughs> Just keep ramming him. Not over yet. Well, little help. It's still one of the coolest parts of the game, whether or not you like Rush. Oh well, we're fine. Yeah, you have to wait till it's full, see? Don't be absurd. As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Is forever extinguished, the will never rest. <laughs> <Back for me. laughs> 
We'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. residential areas just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> I think this is such a good opportunity for them to add this. You know, like they thought about it and I think it was a good idea to add more. Here we are. The employee housing district where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life. Someone's playing hard to get. <laughs> the folks here must be living up three or four times what I do. every other blue moon mom's an old-fashioned type like that think she'll make us pizza her midgar special she's quite the cook quick to whip up finger licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night and she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds okay let's head in cloud you know what to do why don't you wait around the corner over there uh, okay it's a shame you won't get to try the midgar special you would have really liked it Man, I don't know. I don't know what anybody says, but this is just... With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Get <sighs> those... through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be <laughs> Once the lights come on, it's go time. So 
Time to go. Inside, you'll find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. I've always wanted to take the room in the front just to see, but I mean, obviously you can't. This will always be your home. We'll be chatting mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? This is the, uh, PlayStation 5 version. This isn't it. What's this? Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but... I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role. And closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess? My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Man, that's so sad, you know? Come on, there's no time for this. Man. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand, though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector A Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by, but Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. 
Sure, I can't tempt you with some more? <laughs> Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. What? Hey, I'm I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> Alright, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Uh, you know damn well <laughs> what she means. <clears throat> uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. You know, I really enjoyed that they added all of this. Well, that diversion's not going to create itself. <laughs> Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the gold saucer. Ah. What do you care? No. I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night, her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon, you'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. You know, it gave such motivation where there wasn't one before, you know, as much. Is the essence of life itself, of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jesse about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. <laughs> this guy. It's like, he'll, he'll beat the living stuff hey, out of us. It's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait. Where are the guards? Jesse, this had better not get in the way of our plans. It won't. <sighs> Don't see anyone. What the hell happened? Hey, man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back, right? No 
need for us to rush. Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. Guess there's a training center too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. Man, I get really hungry when I'm nervous. Sit on bench. Yeah, I think from what I understood, the textures were uh, not that much better. But what you gonna do, right? Remind me, you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. You start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. And us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Now is the best, the, the best starry skies. Hey ya. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But, but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. Mm -hmm. I'm a soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Just promise me one thing. When we're older and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. you're having second thoughts I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference but not like this I just I feel trapped Jeez. that's the signal all according to plan. Let's go. Right. Yeah! I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey! Over there! Target sight! Let him out! <laughs> Get him first! Ah! 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 
Let's dance, asshole. Oh, these guys. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> so funny. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a show, man. If only the ladies loved you that much. I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves. Gotta 
give it my all. It's on now. Soundtrack is always fantastic, right? Second dance, just the two of us. You turned the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Uh, right. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, It's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock... I'm just as fast as I ever was! At last, how long the waiting dance begins! Here's to a fair fight! <laughs> Come on!
satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. <sighs> there are higher heights to which you and I can still soar. <laughs> you guys are crazy. We really must do this again. Seriously, the the soundtrack is just on another level, you know. I'll see you on the road, my friend. I'm biased though, because Hamazu is my bias. Right after Yuki Kijira and Yoshinori Matsuda is uh, Hamazu. 13 <laughs> 2, baby! will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier than thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the You know they're gonna play a role in the second game, you know, right? The second branch of Avalanche, they've got to, you know. So why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they've cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. <clears throat> okay. Mission complete. Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. Yeah, probably, right? So, are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? Because the soldier would understand. I'll tell him you're worried about it, huh? job a lot easier. <laughs> Wait, where's Wedge? Wedge! That was close. 
We'll go get him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit. Just swinged, I think. Oh, shot! Really? Let me see. <laughs> Are we seriously doing this here? That's... Wow. You guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. <laughs> it's so funny. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <clears throat> now that was a gunshot. <laughs> is that a smile I spy? <laughs> it's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. that. So, how do we get back to the slums? The soundtrack is so 13 2, you know? I mean, it's Hamazu, but you know. It's such the 13 2 style. Compared to his other works like Alliance Alive or Legend of Legacy, like this is like 13-2 type vibe. I love it though. Totally love it. Can't believe HQ was running an op tonight of all nights. Coincidence? All residents yeah. are to return yeah. to their homes and remain They're indoors until further notice. I repeat, that for your safety, go home. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey! Dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Huh? Uh, Cloud was just saying how he hopes to come back and try the Midgar special next time. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's... that's right. Really? Well, okay then. Maybe I'll lend Mom again next time, too. That'd be awesome! Super duper awesome! Yeah, Biggs, like, you were fine until you piled on the extra super duper with cheese. Here. Super duper with cheese, please? Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half figure? 50 50 is pretty good odds, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be Wait, fun. Uh, uh... Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! Oh. Stop it! <laughs> what in the hell are you trying to? Uh, uh, easy, you'll make us fall. Not if you do first. <laughs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. <laughs> That's so funny.
<laughs> right? They don't think about that there. It's for comedic effect. Yeah, 1980s, let's go. I'll head home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> That's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. I think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe. I guess. Cool if we check on them? We'll pass by their places every time. Ugh, sure. stop with the vibrato. So good. You saw it too. Every time. Well, this is Biggs' place. Guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things, worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Mm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. <laughs> People around here love to gossip. They know about Jesse and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like one of my favorites. He's so funny. Loves the stage and loves the play. Guys aren't allowed, remember? You know about the secret reactor tracks? Keeping people from being unnecessary. I'm going to try to find some live and work. <laughs> hey there, Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. These little guys are on guard duty today. Look at them. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softie. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Aw, oh, I missed you, too. Oh, Big Ums, acting so tough. And you, Reggie, you are just the cutest. Aw, oh, Smalls, do you want a belly rub? Me and my current timeline. Hey, bro, want to chill with me and the gang for a bit? Uh, who's the gang? The cats, dummy. Who else? Big Miss Rex? Reginaldo, Mr. Smalls. Right. Don't judge, Cloud. You know you want to. Who are you lying to? I'm gonna try to find some more than work on the play tomorrow. You know about the secret reactor tracks? Everyone and their mother knows that no matter what the future holds, Shimmer will be there for all the answers.
Oh no, I got my head my headphones stuck. Okay, got it. On oh, my jacket. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? <laughs> Just let go already. No, he said it's a game. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? No promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, Loosh, Black Millie, Red Shelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. It'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Hey, Cloud. Survived the jump? How's Wedge? He's fine. He's like, I'm not even going to check on Wedge. We're just going to assume he's okay. Well, that's good to hear. Tomorrow's a really big day for all of us. When Wedge said he'd been shot, I was afraid we'd have to call off the whole damn thing. Heading topside in secret. I don't think I could have faced Parrot if something had happened. But Jesse had been acting weird, and I knew I couldn't just ignore her. Biggs. She must be prepping the bomb right now. Will she be able to finish before morning? I should go and see if she needs any. Fakes. Huh? Uh, sorry. Our shoot was blown pretty far off course. It felt like a bad omen or something. So. Get some rest. You need it. Roger. Night. Night. And thanks, really. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry. He was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when <laughs> I put that on you way back when. Do you want to talk? I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? Like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa.
What's wrong? Come with me. This whole part was so cool to me when this first happened. Like when I first saw this. We were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. You know it. Let's head for the bar. Okay. Do it. See, and that's the part where they mark her. They mark her for death. You okay? I know a lot of people didn't get some of this stuff, but that's not at all what happened.
those things? Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit will come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. We don't we don't know for sure, but but that was the whole point of why they were there, was because like same thing when when Cloud first met Aerith, right? Was she, he didn't see them until she touched him because her her other self talked to Aerith through the live stream at the very beginning of the scene where she's talking to those pipes, and then when she touches Cloud, that's what triggers him to see it, and then it just is like a domino effect, and then everybody can then see. Does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any. I'm fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up. I'm your man. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same way. It's the same way that. Well, when we get to the wedge part, that that happens as well. Because remember, every time okay. later in the game, so the thing. this is hard to explain it without like spoiling people. Race. But uh, you know how Aerith says when it touches her, she feels like she loses a part of herself I further on in the game. Remember when they're surrounding her. It's that same effect. Like, she's like something. They're trying to take something from her, and that's why she says every time she touches them, something happens. It, it has to deal with that. So. But I'm in perfect health! Because she talks about that too later in the game. To look after Jesse and Marlene. It's like whether whether or not. Because they haven't confirmed that yet, or they're not. It's the displacement of of the spirit in in that set of events, or whether it's like a piece of their soul. This will help you get squared away. Yeah. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. Yeah, no, no, no. We're fine. This is a recap, so we can talk about it all. Absolutely. I'm I, I, but I'm thinking like. It, it. She very much points out towards the end of the game, right? That like. Anytime she interacts with them and them touching her directly, something happens, right? As to what that is, is is debatable, but definitely in the context of like, yeah, it had to have affected Jesse too, you know? Because Wedge also gets marked too, whether or not they are dead. Good luck out there, bro, and take care. Relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think it could it could also be by the way always next time what's this words of encouragement <laughs> thanks I need them it could also be um in the in the original didn't Jesse originally sprain her leg in the original maker reactor and that didn't happen this time right so it could also be that they're trying to resequence the events back to how it was so they could have sprained her leg now and injured her ankle to put in a time period where she had her ankle injured, right? Like, to take her out of that sequence of events. If she didn't have an injured ankle, then she could continue to, to like, change things, right? That also could be the context of it. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I don't recall properly, because like, I don't have... It's been so long since I played the original. Uh, but it also could be in that context as well. Like, what can I do? Yeah, exactly. What can I do to put her back on that path that was then and and the only way would have been to injure her ankle like then is is also the other interpretation but what i mean by marked by death is not is not a misinterpretation right because you know um yeah i'll bring up the chart the chart the crazy man chart that i had from last time um that's not a misinterpretation though because what happens is whenever that sequence of events happens that's essentially what you're doing you're essentially uh, saying hey avalanche people are gonna die right so by them marking her and injuring her ankle that leads to a sequence of events in a time in, in the sequence of events leads to that point where they lose jesse right so like it's not like wrong to phrase it that way it's just probably a little weird to phrase it that way um, but essentially that's, that's what I mean is like, how, how can we, and that's what they did, right? All right, let's get going. Sure. 
After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. Isn't the watch supposed to keep this kind of stuff from happening? Just got done talking. I don't know if I, I think I'd amend the chart a little too at this point. I think depending on what I see and I haven't watched any of the trailers or anything for the sequel. So I have no idea, but I'd like to think the chart's pretty accurate. Actually, you know, it'd be good. I don't even know. I might have it. I might have it. I might still have it. Let me look for it. I don't know if I still have the chart. Surely, surely I do. I know I exported it somewhere. Yeah, yo, I have the crazy man chart. Let's put it up. Since this is valid, let's go. Crazy man chart. Okay, so this is what, for those of you who actually watch my content, which you may or may not have, I made this in the game first came out. So, uh, people would call it timelines. I don't think it's a timeline. Again, maybe that's what Ultimate Mania maybe translates it to that. As I, I don't really know. Uh, I think that's really inaccurate. I think there's, uh, as Red 13 says in the game, there's a finite beginning and end. Finite is in like that always happens the start of it and the end of the live stream. Everything in between is changeable, but the immutable facts are the beginning and the ending, as he says. It's a, it's a straight, right? So uh, if we look here, and this sucks because I oh, maybe I can show my mouse on the image. Hold on, is there a way to for me to? Um, 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 there's not a way to show my mouse. Okay, so maybe I have to do it this way. So so if you look at uh, the very 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 top up here, the very top. Uh, the way that goes is before Crisis, Crisis Core, Zack, right? And then Aerith, at the point of Aerith, right? We have the red, which is like the bad, like, oh my goodness, we shouldn't have done that type thing, right? Uh, that's the red section. So what happens is, when you go down to the second section, Zack lives, and that whole section with Aerith, the death of Aerith and everything in the prayer goes downward. So the way that it's really interesting is it basically changes the cycle of things. So instead of like... It's, it's like traversing the flow. You're traversing up and down the live stream, but there's no like branches or alternate timelines, right? It's not like the Marvel Universe or anywhere else where there's like branches of events. Everything sort of is in this one single flow. Um, I guess you could think of it as like... Um, it doesn't branch out, but it all threads in. So like think of it as like a, a piece of yarn that's frayed, right? Not at the edges. But in the center, the, the threads are loose. And you know how, like, Chinese finger traps, I pointed this out before, but, like, you push it together, <coughs> you push it together, and the trap loosens, and there's all these loose threads in the center, right? This is what we're dealing with right now. When you pull the trap and it tightens, as you continue to pull, right, eventually it snaps, or eventually there's, like, so much tension, right? And so uh, that's what you're sort of looking at as, like, the scenario of the story. And I think that it's very interesting because we talked about it, uh, in part two, and I ha like I said, I haven't seen all the trailers, but I'm I'm assuming based off of what people are telling me that we predicted right in the YouTube video. So um, the unknown future is at the end of this game where the singularity gets destroyed, and then we end up to like unknown future, right? Of like what that is, uh, which is the sequel or the second game. Um, so you could say things happen parallel, but are not branches. Because everything, regardless of what happens in any, uh, I guess people's terms, timelines, they're not timelines, whatever happens in whatever threads, they all stem from the initial same thread at the beginning of the live stream. Then the threads break out and whatever the heck happens, however you want to call it convoluted storytelling, if you want to say that, I think it's good, but whatever. Uh, all these different types of things and events happen in different parallels, right? And then they all merge back to the final piece, which is that very piece at the end. So honestly, I think that's where we're going to end up. We're going to end up in the promised land. And I think that's where people are misinterpreting it. Because timeline, time doesn't flow uh, linear. So I think that's what people are misinterpreting. Unless that's literally how they wrote it in the Ultimania, 
but I haven't bought the Ultimania to be able to tell you. But that's the that's the crazy person chart. We'll we'll keep it here as reference. Uh, but that's like the the most simplified conversation I I can have about it without going on and on forever about it. So uh, now you know. Man, if I'm right about that, let me tell you. Alright, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Do you think Biggs is on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really got to be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. <laughs> That's so funny. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more is coming too. We shut them all down by the day, but we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Cool. I like how like he's a man with a uh, gun on his arm and they're like Shinra didn't even stop him he's like yeah it's my uh, self defense arm it's alright guys We take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Mako storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. Word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train, and none of them look happy to be here. I like their relationship a lot, very Antifa's. Because this is underlying just sense of, of trust and care between them because of their history it's just so interesting to see uh, you can see it especially when tifa and barrett tend to be more gentler to the like right he's a little rough around the edges but like around her he's sort of like yeah like lets his guard down at the beginning and it's super cool to sort of be curious about that part of the relationship at the beginning when you don't know much between the characters and it's little moments like that that sort of give you a hint into like who they are as their relationships between each other Oh, the middle manager. Middle manager again. Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Huh? 
their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? What? I'll never be a middle manager. I don't. I don't have the. Do I, have a I have a backbone. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Asshole. You know you're better than that. Why don't you go check on Tifa? Quit screwing around here. Imagine them messing up the train, right? <laughs> right out of the train. Oh. She's so good. Oh my gosh, such a wholesome bean. Uh, best best friend throws the other best friend out of out of the train.
don't know what to say. <laughs> well done, well done. I felt sure we had them, didn't you? Sir. Born survivors, is surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. to it. Let's go. Yeah, this game's so good. Go on. Plan A was if everything went off without a hitch. From the station, it would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans in case we had to get off Earth. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Yeah. You're damn right. Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. You can bet your ass it's gonna be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends in Sector 5 marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people. All we gotta do is take it. You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. No. 
Sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Uh. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? Their pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. Yes. It is so hard to find good health these days. Which is why the president ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? 